Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Xu Hongjun, CTO, uh, LG Display. In the, tema, in the tema of a new opportunity for display industry, I want to, I want to deliver three messages to your side. The first one is I prepared to summarize the last several tens of years of the display history. And then I want to say that why we are, want to more focus on all the technology rather than LG technology. So at that time, I want to deliver several advantages of the OLED technology compared to LCD. And then finally, I showed that LG display a technical roadmap for the future, several futures, several years futures. It just summarized the first for the last several tens of years for the history of the display area. At the early 1940, uh, America introduced the CIT as monochromatic and then followed by early 1970 is called CRT introduced at initiative of the Japan. And then only 20, that there are two major display technology introduced to the market by one time, uh, PDP and LCD also. So even though PDP have very good advantage, high brightness and high brightness and the other things, however, at this time, uh, PDP is disappeared every, by, every year. So, at the first time, LCD have good, good advantage is a low power consumption and they can easily make the small, from the small size to the large size and also very thin and, very thin and light compared to heavy CRT areas. So maybe 2,000 years, it's a main uh, meaningful years to enhance the, to develop the market size of display. From after introducing this uh, LCD display, you can get a new application to use the whole area in your life, such as laptop, computer, and mobile application, and many a monitor and TV. Maybe LCD have a good, good material, good device to enhance the many application to change our life. And then uh, nowadays, so LCD still a main display technology at the moment. However, for the futures, you want to expand the OLED area for the next coming uh, several years. It's a market size. You can see that maybe you can see about, about the 2000, the market size up to the 100 billion US dollar. At this time, it's over then 120, uh, 120 billion US dollar. So you can see that the most of revenue comes from the LCD area. About uh, 2010, it's a small start to the revenue comes from the OLED area. Still, most of revenue comes from the LCD. And, and nowadays, maybe 20 or 30% covered by OLED and the whole uh, display revenue. So I summarize the three kinds of application, the revenue and market situation. Yeah, you can see that at 28, it's just the 23% covered by uh, OLED in the mobile application. Uh, it's a total uh, OLED area. So it's still 90%, 78% covered by LCD. Uh, nowadays, so OLED uh, developed only developed up to the 42% uh, market share is 30, 36%. So you, we see that the 30% uh, developed the CAGI for the last several years. So totally, you can see the life size. So all the steel market shares, Korea covered by 70%, 25% covered by China still. So Large, large area OLED display up to the 90, 96% covered by Korea, and then small and medium size is 70%, about 70% covered by OLED. So at this time, Korea and China is the main, main country to play in this area. So I summarized the uh, display uh, market situation. From this slide, I want to say that why we are more focused on the OLED. So we can, I simply summarize the three, three items. The first one is when you adopted OLED technology, you can get a natural reality. That means it's, uh, you can get a 
additional differentiated emotional feeling to the customer. The other one is human friendly. So maybe OLED can be, can be a more good solution compared to the LCD to human uh, friend to human. The, the last one is eco friendly. Eco, eco uh, environment issues has a type issue in global. The first one is the pure image quality. We call it the natural reality. So human perceive the contrast between the black and white. So that means black is very important to enhance the image quality and high contrast ratio and uh, two or three D and also. So you can see that you can see the left side. When you adopt this LCD area, it's not easy to control the uh, brightness uh, pixel by pixel. We can control the block, block area. That means you don't have any good solution to make a black, to make the true black. So maybe about sound of the contrast ratio you can, you can get LCD area. However, in the OLED area, we can easily control the each, each pixel by pixel to make a bright and dark by one time. So that means if we have more than 10, more than 1,000 thousand higher contrast you can get compared to the depth of LCD area. That means you can see the twinkle stars in a dark, in a dark star on screen. Maybe not easy to have a scene in the LCD area. The other one is a color accuracy. Color accuracy is more important to see the vivid color on the screen. However, when the decrease of the brightness of the each color in the LCD area, that you can see that the right side is a normally color gamma abruptly down. That comes from the light leakage from the back side of the panel. However, in the when you adopted the OLED area, as I mentioned, that OLED can be a good solution to control the brightness of the pixel by pixel. So the decrease is very small compared to the uh, LCD. So it's a good solution. That, as of that, so you can get any certification of the color fidelities. Yet you know the design freedom. So as you well know, uh, LCD, um, may, we used many uh, optical film and additional back, uh, uh, backlight units. So not easy to bend the structure or not easy to any shape of the display compared to the LCD area. However, compare. Uh, OLED is a very simple structure, just one plate and encapsulation structure we have today. So that means you can get a more uh, curvature, you can get more uh, narrow curvature. You can see that uh, right there. For two years before, LG display launched the, the uh, bandable display as a uh, gaming monitor in the European country. So it's a good solution to make immersive feeling when you enjoy the a game in a screen. Uh, the other one is a, a light converter. You know that uh, blue light is not good for human body. So when you when you expose the blue light on the midnight, it can be. A, it's not easy to make a deep sleeping. So it's well known. So you can see that the about uh, for one fifty. 415 to 455 area already had a small emission of the blue compared to the LCD area. And the other one is uh, radiant lithium. So if we see, if we want to make a deep sleeping, so the best way you lost your TV on your living room. However, if you enjoy the film, any kind of film or the other things in the midnight, uh, until the midnight, May we believe that already is a better, than, better solution compared to the LCD. So recently, some uh, Korean researcher reported that reported that the amount uh, reported that you can see that. So the melatonin concentration in your body after watching TV when you adopt the LCD. So about 40% decreases. However, when you choose the OLED area, less the amount of the melatonin decreases less compared to the OLED. So 
The best way, uh, don't watching the TV, is to go to bed, uh, to sleep. However, better, better solution is choose the white, uh, choose the OLED technology compared to the LCD to make a deep sleeping. The, the, the other one is uh, you can easily make a new additional experience to the human. So the first one is uh, OLED is, uh, you can get uh, many uh, functional sensors adopted uh, on the, the backside of the panel, the IR sensor, or UV sensor, the other things. So you can see that uh, sometimes if you, have, you are very tired when you're driving, so that makes uh, some risk to driving. However, it is you can, if you adopt the IR sensor on the backside of the panel, then make a warning to you when you're driving. The other one is, uh, let's, Let's imagine when you drive in a car uh, with your passenger, the passenger wants something, some hot feeling at the time. However, it, it's uh, the feeling is a destructive your uh, driving condition. So if we want a good solution, divide the separated the two supported two contents to the customer and pass the passenger and driver by one time. So that is a good solution. It's uh, a viewing angle control. It's very good technology. So we believe that the OLED has a good solution to make additional function compared to the LCD area. The other one is uh, environment ministry is eco-friendly. So OLED have very less plastic to make a product. Just 10% just compared to the LCD. We use a very small amount of of a plastic to make a film, to make an OLED area. The other one is we don't use the, we don't use the human hazard materials such as cadmium, indium, phosphorus, and the other things. So we believe that OLED is a better solution compared to the LCD to protect the climbing issues and to protect the human body. So from this slide, I want to say that the uh, LG display the technical roadmap. The, other, the, the first one is TV. 10 years ago, we adopted the three, three tandem structure to make a white OLED. So at that time, we call it the generation first. At the second first, we adopted the deuterium to make a longer lifetime when you adopted the OLED technology. And also, tandem, we slightly changed the tandem structure of OLED and then we adopted personalized organization. It's uh, that uh, all of these solution to make a better color, color garment and to make a longer lifetime to support the customer needs. For the next time, we have to change the structure of the tandem OLED area to make a more better color, color condition and color garment. We want to adopt many kinds of optical structure in the side, in, and all that area to enhance the external, external illumination component. The other one is that we, call, we upgrade the personalized algorithm to, we call it the Meta Booster. Uh, to, uh, we believe that Meta Booster easily make a more brighter or bright pixel and more darker and darker pixels. This uh, IT area. Maybe when you adopted AI technology, so several years ago, most of the hot topic is AI. When you adopted AI technology on the laptop computer and mobile application, we need district uh, chipset, GPU and MPU to support the AI function. So that means the total power consumption of the set should be increased. They need to the decrease of the power consumption from on the display area. So maybe at this time, maybe 30 to 40% power consumption is, is, uh, comes from the uh, display area. So we, we do our best to, to decrease the power consumption on the IT area. The first one, we want to change the, uh, we want to change the new tandem structure of OLED, and we want to adapt the uh, oxide transistor to, to enjoy, to enhance the power consumption. It's automatic area. So 
Automatic air, automatic display, vehicle display, you have very good advantage. The first one is you can get a very many kind of shape of display. You can make easily covered aura, roll over aura, the other things compared to the LCD. So that is a good position, good things and very good potential to enhance, to expand the display, display adapt in a car. The other one is a switchable privacy mode. It's a very good solution to enhance the meter target passenger and drivers. Yeah, AI display. So we want AI technology to adopt the whole range of display process, uh, such as the initial stage, the R and D, uh, to make any kind of evidence to, for just before mass production. We adopted the AI technology to make uh, what, to find a good, effective way to enhance the uh, mass production yield. So you can see that we, at this time, we are trying to do the AI based on innovation, such as uh, display design and vertical simulation, and find a, find a defect and many issues. We have to adopt the AI technology to, uh, to forecast the yield uh, based on based on immersive data, data set. The other one is uh, we want to find a good solution real-time monitoring process and improvement by over yield by AI and reduce the process cost. That means we believe that AI technology is a good solution to make good readiness just the initial stage of R&D and also it's a good solution to find a good way to high high yield of display area. So at this time, so most of the display is used at the whole range of the hour lifetime. So from the mobile application to the large size display, and you still you can see the very huge size of display today. So for the futures, maybe we believe that the older technology can expand the application in our life. So AR, VR, and transparent, and many things. So if you're the best, if you're the best, we are best uh, to make a good solution, to make a good technology, to make a good application. So maybe the market size should be increased, and should be developed, and also that uh, change our, our lifestyle for the futures. So I show you again this one. The new market creation of the uh, right side top area is a depend on our activity for the futures for the several years. So uh, the gray and red is uh, forecast the market side. However, if we, however what we do or how we do today is very important to expand the additional new market creation for the next. Uh, 10 years. So at this time, uh, every time I welcome to your crazy idea to support, to support and uh, to develop the ma new material and new device process and new process and to find a new way to make an effective way to deliver to the customer area. Please let me know that at any time, don't hesitate. Uh, thank you very much.